Let's talk about coffee. So what most people do when they struggle with when they start on a plan is they confuse what they think is coffee with actually what is coffee. So if you say in an Italian what coffee is, they're talking about cafetiera, yeah? So you actually put the coffee in. So the way you do this is you open it up, right? Like so, you put your coffee in here, you buy the ground it up, put the coffee in here, put the water in, whack it in, screw that up, and then put it back on your, your stove, let it boil, and that's a, that's a great cup of coffee. Now, um, absolutely will start your day with a big bang. And that's not to say you want to overdo coffee, absolutely not. It does contain, you know, you, you, the other thing with coffee is you want to really make sure that you do buy organic coffee, um, which most great uh, shops like this will sell and stock. So organic coffee is an absolute must. And the reason for that is coffee is very, very heavily sprayed. So you don't want to be, you know, having that, that as well, uh, toxic load when you're drinking, especially a lot of coffee or coffee every day. What about your thoughts, Liam? Yeah, coffee's great. Um, He's Aussie, so he doesn't get the whole cafeteria yeah, thing, so... For me, I find that a lot of coffees have a lot of heavy metals in them, and especially when you go to some cheap cafe and you get it, they have, the machines have a lot of aluminium in them, which aren't great for the body. Um, so I always purchase organic coffee as well, just to be sure. So the other thing you want to keep in mind when you're having proper coffee is you actually get the taste of coffee. So if you're used to drinking like really poor quality coffee and not having it like this, um, that's why it needs milk and sugar is because your coffee is no good. So if you, if you have to drink milk and sugar to drink your coffee, perhaps look at the bean and how you're actually making it. And if you're like Liam, uh, Skippy the Bush Kangaroo, it's probably maybe the first time you've seen one of these, but this is, this is the real deal right, right here. The thing that I love about uh, local uh, food and grocery shops just like this one is they really do stock some great, fantastic products that you usually can't find elsewhere. You certainly won't be able to find this in your supermarket. For example, this one, organic coconut oil. Now, I love coconut oil. Um, there's, a, there's a routine that some people use called oil pulling. And that's where you get 20 grams of coconut oil first thing in your mouth and it helps pull out uh, you know, toxicity of, of the, the morning and clean up your breath and that. You can try that one. I don't do that one too much myself, but I certainly do use coconut oil in my cooking. I use about 20 grams, which is a, roughly about a tablespoon when I am cooking something. And depending on the dish, I may even add some coconut oil uh, additionally to it. So I don't really like adding personally for my flavor. Uh, I don't like adding coconut oil to my vegetables, but I certainly do like adding it to things like rice and potato to give it a extra flavor. And um, even, even things like blueberries, sometimes I'll add a bit of coconut oil to create a bit of contrast in the flavor and a creaminess to the blueberries. What about you, Liam? Yeah, I agree with you 100%, Mark. Um, this is coconut cream. It's basically 100 mil for a 20 gram serve of fats, but coconut oil and coconut cream are two completely different things. So I would never give this to someone who's trying to lose a bit of body fat or, or reach a target. Um, what I could use this for is, is a nice dessert for someone who is trying to gain a little bit of muscle, um, and keep the calories in a surplus. Um, a lot of people come to me and they, they try to have this instead of coconut oil, but it just so much better and you're gonna get so much more out of, out of coconut oil than coconut cream. Um, usually, this one's not too bad, uh, but usually they're filled with a, a hidden, nasty hidden preservatives um, and so forth. So I just don't recommend them for phallus clients. To stay up to date with us at Enterprise, check out our Facebook page and our Instagram, as well as our main website where we post all of our blog content at www.melbournepersonaltrainers.com. Till you hear from me next week, train hard, supplement smart, and eat well.